My name's Adam Spicer from Spicer. In The Loop Media. In The Loop Media. Very nice to meet you, Adam Spicer. I am Unstoppable Tracy. <laughs> <laughs> Can I ask you a couple of questions? Absolutely. I would love that. So what, what makes you laugh? What makes me laugh? You know, uh, when, I'm, when I'm super sad, one of my favorite funny memories is uh, this guy I know, when we were sailing past a buoy in the water, uh, like a floating marker for the big ships coming into Toronto Harbor, it looks really big and significant. And so he was, he was about your size, Adam, and, it, and he jumped out of the boat. He decided to spontaneously jump on the floating buoy because it was as big as him, as big as you. <laughs> but when he jumped on the floating buoy, it started to sink in the water. Oh, and, it, and it was so funny because he started to sink. So whenever I'm really sad, for some reason, even 20 years later now, I still think of my friend jumping out of the boat, expecting to float, and instead he very slowly sunk into the water. So I, I like it sometimes when we're a little bit too full of ourselves, and, and the universe has a funny way of humbling us, of making us realize we're, we're all human, we all make mistakes, and we all can only do our very best I have a, I have another question. Okay. What what makes you smile? What makes me smile? Well, is enthusiastic and ambitious people like you, Adam. Uh, uh you know, smile and and a smile invites a smile. You got this great big smile, and it's making me return a great big smile. So you know, there's nothing like. Who you surround yourself with is, is how you end up feeling. So you surround yourself with happy people and you end up feeling happy, even yeah. on a tough day. So uh, it's definitely what makes me smile is fellow happy people, no matter how I'm feeling. What makes life easier? Uh, uh, maybe a very similar, like who you surround yourself with. You know, sometimes you feel like you're all alone. Like I remember rappelling off of a cliff but I was rappelling off of a, a mountain and I was hanging on a rope. And when I looked to the left and to the right, there was nobody around and I felt like I was all by myself. But the reality was I wasn't alone. I had a safety line. I had a rope on me uh, and, and a belay line. And, and someone from above shouted, Tracy, are you on the ground? And, and I was, I was a little scared. I'm like, I'm not on the ground. But uh, I realized then I wasn't all alone. I realized that they had my back. And so what makes life a little easier is who's got your back? Who are your friends? You know, are they good people that support you and believe you can do it? Uh, and the kind of people that say, how do you know unless you try? Or are the kind of the people who with their positive intention and their hearts are big, but they say things like, are you sure that's for you? Or is that realistic? You know, I learned as a person with a disability and sometimes people with invisible disabilities that those big hearts don't always have us set up for success, right? They try to protect us and keep us safe. But I think the kind of people that makes life easier for me are the kind of people that say things like, how do you know unless you try? Who's your lifeline? Who supports you? Who's got that can-do attitude and looks at you like a can-do guy? And looks at me like a can-do girl. And I like that story when you fell out of the boat. <laughs> Can you right. tell me more about it? Yes, when I start, look, I've got, like, I, I, I have a, one of my sailing awards here and and i and i grew up to be a world cup sailor sailing against able-bodied men as big as adam and michael and hugo like all of you these great big guys big muscles and i'm just little old tracy that weighs 82 pounds you know there's not much to me but and and that's partly because of not having any legs 
right? Without having my legs, I'm, I'm very top heavy. So when I started to sail, because of no legs, I would fall out of the boat. <laughs> and I was all top of the body and I just kept falling out of the boat, falling out of the boat. But I didn't mind, I love swimming. And so I would just laugh and I would climb back in the boat. But that first summer I, stay, I failed. I didn't get my, my level. And all of my friends, they all got their white sail level one. They all got their sailing level. And I failed, but I knew I could do it. And I started to learn how to balance in the boat with no legs on. And so I went back the next summer and then I caught up. Once I learned how to balance in the boat, how to see the wind coming, so I'd move my head around to balance instead of worrying about where my legs were because there weren't any legs. Cool. And then I grew up to get, get these, you know, gold medal first places. Wow. Right? It's so great. But I remember I failed my first summer. So sometimes we struggle, right? Sometimes we fall out of the boat. Sometimes we don't succeed like we thought. But it doesn't mean that if we don't keep practicing and trying, that we're not going to become winners. This, this award here, this one says, against all odds against all odds and so it was against all the odds that i would be a sailor and now i can beat you and and michael and hugo in a boat right who knew and i started yeah. by falling out of a boat yeah thanks for knowing that story thank you for You're asking welcome. thanks thank you for talking to me me too adam thanks for asking it's lovely chatting you're welcome. Bye for now. <laughs>